Hi everyone, this is Aspire Automobile and today we are going to learn about MPFI or multi-point fuel injection system. We are going to learn how does it work and why it outclassed the carbureted engines. We are also going to learn its major advantages and disadvantages. But before starting this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit on that bell icon. Now without any further delay, let's start. Before studying MPFI, we are going to briefly study about another component, the carburetor. Because without knowing the function of a carburetor, one cannot truly understand the function of MPFI. Now the question arises, what is a carburetor? A carburetor is a mechanism which is used in automobiles. First, to supply the correct amount of the air fuel mixture at the correct strength under all conditions of load and speed of the engine. Second, to vaporize the fuel to prepare a homogeneous air fuel mixture. That means, if the air fuel mixture is better, better combustion also takes place. The third is to keep a small reserve of fuel at a constant head. This one here is a schematic diagram of a simple carburetor. The main parts are the float chamber, the fuel jet, the float, the nozzle, the venturi, the vent and the throttle valve. The float here is made up of nylon plastic. A needle valve here is used which serves to open or close the fuel inlet to float chamber depending upon requirements. As the fuel level in the float chamber decreases, the float goes down and open the needle valve to enter more amount of fuel. And when the fuel chamber is full, the float goes up, meaning this direction, and closes the needle valve. That's how constant head of fuel is maintained. There is a minimization of airflow passage which is known as venturi here and due to less area the air velocity increases and because of this increase in velocity decrease in pressure is caused at the nozzle which is located in venturi itself due to this depression of nozzle the fuel comes out and is vaporized by arriving air stream now the purpose of throttle valve here is to control the quantity of air fuel mixture. It is attached to the accelerator pedal. As the pedal is pressed, the valve opens and allows air fuel mixture to go inside the engine. A vent here is also provided to keep atmospheric pressure inside the float chamber. Though having very simple and robust mechanism, carburetor does have some major disadvantages. First is, at very low speed, the mixture supplied by it is so weak that it will not ignite properly. It is also affected by changes of environment. A single carburetor also cannot distribute air fuel mixture properly to each cylinder in multi-cylinder engine. The nearest cylinder will have more amount of air fuel mixture than the furthest one. And because of improper combustion of air and fuel, air pollution is also a major problem of carbureted engines. Due to these problems in carburetors, fuel injection systems arrived for petrol engines. There are mainly three types of petrol fuel injection system. First one is throttle body injection system, which is nearly same to a carburetor in which one or more injectors are located in a throttle body which supplies fuel to the engine by intake manifold. It is not an efficient technique. Second one is gasoline direct injection or GDI system in which highly pressurized petrol is injected directly inside the engine though it is very costly because of high pressure components. 
Third one is port fuel injection in which fuel injectors are mounted at each of intake port so fuel can be spread directly into the ports. MPFI or multipoint fuel injection system is a type of port fuel injection which is also the most popular type of fuel injection system and this is also our topic of discussion today. Herbert Ackroyd Stewart developed first MPFI system. One of the first commercial gasoline injection system was developed by Bosch and it was introduced in 1952 on Goliath GP700. Here we have a schematic diagram of multi-point fuel injection system which is also known as MPFI. Now let us see its components. First here is fuel tank then here is the fuel filter it is known as fuel pump and here it is known as fuel rail this part over here is known as fuel pressure regulator and these four over here are called fuel injectors we have a four cylinder engine now this part is a very important part for complete MPFI system you can consider it as the brain of MPFI system it is known as ECU or electronic control unit now the fuel line is shown in red color and the black lines over here are basically the connections between ECU and different sensors and actuators now let us see how does it work we know that accelerator pedal is connected to the throttle valve which is situated inside the intake manifold. We also know that throttle valve controls the quantity of air entering the engine. Now when accelerator pedal is pressed to admit more amount of air, the ECU immediately adjusts the fuel rate in anticipation of the air about to enter the engine. ECU uses sensors to fine tune the fuel delivery for correct fuel ratio. The sensors here are shown in different numbers. Fuel is injected by electrically controlled injectors which is supplied with the petrol under high pressure by the fuel rail. Fuel pump sucks the petrol from the fuel tank through the fuel filter and then sends it to the fuel rail. The amount of time the injector stays open determine the amount of fuel supplied to the engine. This time is known as pulse width. Now there is a fuel pressure regulator here which opens when there is excess pressure in fuel rail and sends the extra fuel back to the fuel tank. Fuel rail is a very important part of MPFI system. It supplies the injectors with fuel. It is important that the fuel has necessary pressure at the start of injection. Sensors play a vital role in fuel injection system as they are used to provide all the required data from various components for an effective engine management. They are like nerves on human body. We will talk about them later on a separate video. There are some advantages and disadvantages of MPFI system. The advantages of this system are First, it increases fuel efficiency. Second, vehicle will emit less amount of pollutants. Third, better atomization of fuel is possible in this technique. And fourth, smooth operation of engine is possible. There are also some disadvantages of this system. The first one of them are there could be a case of misfiring in case of MPFI system. And second, it is costly system than the carbureted engines. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Only your enthusiasm inspire me for making new videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave a comment below. Goodbye.